Hey guys, Decav13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Yakuza Like a Dragon. Alright, time for some dragon cart today. Feel like taking a spin? So yeah, let's let's take part. We haven't done this since we did the sub story. Oh, online ranking for time attack. Their ability, but very little else. I think I'll just stick with Crimson Fire for now. Go for Grand. Let's go for the Cerberus Cup. Let's see if I actually remember how to uh, drive the cart. <laughs> Been a while, so. Don't exactly remember the controls. <laughs> this is gonna be fun, huh? I forget whether it's uh, X or R2 for accelerate. I think it's X. Oh, here we go. Oh, X is jump or drift. Alright, breaking back up is L2. Use item as circle, switch item as square. All right. Let's do this. See ya. Move it. See ya. Move it. See ya. Move it. Alright. Game set! I'm having a hot pot tonight! Oh, man. Give me some fucking flashbacks to Mario Kart over here. After this, I'll probably- I'll definitely want to try to upgrade my cart a little bit, instead of just playing with the standard cart. I'm sure that'll offer me a bit more, uh, stuff. Let's do this!
That was a bit tighter of a race. Alright, final final race. What do we got? Big, I bounced right off.
There we go. Uh, first place cross all three. How the fuck did I get 240 exactly? Ah, so this is how I can get passion too. Win the uh, win the cups. All right, well hey, that's one. Hey, I like the way you drive. Oh, these two. The Rocket Girls. Hmm? You two are... Yeah. Aichan Matsuko-chan, right? <laughs> oh, you remembered. How sweet. Does that mean you want to have some fun with us? Okay then, hope you like getting punished on the track. <laughs> Make no mistake, the Pegasus Cup is our hunting grounds. But don't worry, the Rocket Girls treasure each and every one of their trophies. Perhaps you should mount you on our wall. <laughs> oh, Matsuko, stop teasing the poor lad. Guess we'll see you out there, stud. So now I'm up against the Rocket Girls. They seem pretty tough. Gotta be prepared if I want to take them on. Hmm? What'd you say about mounting me? <laughs> Watch out, kasuga san The Rocket Girls are no pushovers. The only way you'll blow past them is by sticking to inside corners. Oh, thanks for the tip, Fujisawa san. Man, you sure know a ton about racing. Put you on a cart and I bet you'd kick some ass out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of you to say, but for the time being, watching is exciting enough. Besides, my job as a receptionist keeps me plenty occupied. Seeing fresh faces enjoy the thrill of speed, striving to improve their time and making friends along the way. That's what keeps me at it, day in and day out. <laughs> I'll let you know, kasuka san I have high hopes for you. Wow. Really? Man, I don't know what to say. You're a really nice guy. Almost like a guide to the go-kart world. Of course. That's what I'm here for. Anything you want to know, please ask. I might end up ta talking your ear off, though. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Alright, now we can do the Pegasus Cup. Feel like taking a spin? Alright, what prize is gonna get? Daytona. Open your heart from Sonic Adventure. Ooh, hey, you saw manuals to increase job rank. For a thousand rings apiece. you overall as a person. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, let's try to get some, uh... Oh shit, this just cost- this just costs money. Alright, 
here. We're going to want to stick to inside corners if we want to beat uh, I and Matsko. my card. Yeah, I did end up lapping someone. Nice. Oh, I still ended up getting third place. That one was kind of a tricky course with all the sharp turns, but you know, since I have my upgraded car, it wasn't too bad. All right, oily way. Oh, great. Get ready to eat dust. Great, great start. Get 
Or at least I can slow people down a little bit with the oil, I guess. That was a very close one. Barely even two second gap. <sighs> Alright. One race left. Just gotta place first here and I win. I mean, even if I don't place first here, I think I still win. Yeah, because it's a two point gap between... Or is it one point gap between first and second? No, it's a one point gap between first and second. How I can get third and still win. Oh, great. Explosion Boulevard. Oh, fuck me. Let's do this. I'm going to bounce off into those. Oh, that just causes you, causes you to immediately die. I bounced off the walls. Not bad. Wow, what a fucking gap this time. Guess they keep hitting the barrels.
That's a perfect win. I'm number one! <laughs> what a nice view. Oh, Suguru. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite the performance, Ichiba Ichiban Kasuga-san. Stunning, I'll admit. Hmm? Hey, aren't you that traitor guy, Suguru? One of the Drift Musketeers? Hey. I'm impressed you know that much. In my world, information is the ultimate resource. As such, I've gathered enough data, data on you to predict your every move. <laughs> Factor in some course analysis, and I'd say I've got your driving pattern memorized. You do, huh? Oh yes. Whether it's work, romance, racing, or simply checking the weather, there's nothing that data can't solve. Although it's up to you to put the data together in a meaningful way. Without an analytical mind, you'll be looking at numbers and figures with no idea what to do next. But I think I've said my piece. I'll be waiting for you in the Phoenix Cup, even though I already know the outcome. Simple analytics, you see. Do all the analysis you want. That still won't help you in the heat of the moment. Now I'm gonna take the Phoenix Cup, Phoenix Cup to prove it. Feel like taking a spin? All right, let's see. No new card setting, everything's already at max, right? Yep. All right, Pain Circuit, Sky Highway, and Winding Cross. Let's see how we can do. Get ready to eat dust. See ya. Move it. Ooh, wow. Yeah, they weren't calling this the fucking pain circuit for nothing. single shot. Yes. Oh yeah? Take this! Take this! 
always in that one part there that she overtakes me. I don't know if I'm like shooting at him just because I can. Man, he, isn't this supposed to be his course? He didn't even beat I. Damn, dude. Nice, uh, nice racing, Suguru. This all part of your calculated strategy. I hope not. Hell, I think I'm going to get more of a challenge from I than I will Suguru. <laughs> Let's do this! Although I might be speaking a little early when I say that. Shit. Great start. As soon as we start, I'll be eating the shit.
All right, my win. <sighs> All right. Guru is still trailing by three points. So in the end, he did just be as uh, he's just as uh, threatening to me as I was in the last one. <laughs> All right, what's our last course? Winding cross. Let's do this. My saving grace is that Guru is absolutely ass at taking that one turn with all the archways. I win. Oh. He almost had me at the end there. Barely beat him by a fucking second. Damn, I really trailed in that fucking race. I'm number one! <laughs> As I planned! All right, I swept that Grand Prix like it was nothing. <laughs> you really did great out there. It's rare to see a rookie climb the ranks so easily. You've got something special going on. <laughs> <laughs> you think? I sure don't mind the compliments. Anyway, Dragon Cup's up next, right? Once I win that, I'll be the king of the ca king of the carts. Mm. Hmm. Dragon Cup is the highest ranking race there is. It might still be too early for you, Kasuga-san. Hmm? Yeah. 
Why is that? I'm saying if you have a little more racing experience, I'd be more confident in your success. Mm. I can take that. What kind of experience were you thinking of? I've won all the tournaments I can. There should be many high-level rivals around here. Challenging the competition and striving for the top is also valuable experience. Wow. I get it. So now I gotta beat all my rivals. Racing alongside talented people can teach you a lot, both about their technique and your own. I highly recommend it. Yeah, you have a point there. And don't forget to upgrade your machine. It's an investment, just like every, just like anything else. You won't get out what you don't put in. Got it. Got that right. <laughs> the Dragon Cup's really that tough. I'll just have to be tougher. Simple as that. Alright, so I have to face off against my rivals. How exactly do I go about doing that? Oh, sub story. There we go. I guess that's how I do it. <laughs> Hold up, newbie. I'd like to have a word with you. Wait, aren't you Naoki the wrestler and Hama and Hama Naomi the Mike the Mai Gashira third seed? Oh. That's us. Hey, that run you had in the Cerberus Cup. I'll admit you did good. But the two-headed bomb can't just let a loss be a loss. Our pride's at stake here. Give us another challenge. I promise we won't lose. Oh, so you want a revenge match, huh? I don't mind, but what makes you think this time will be any different? <laughs> We've been training hard and improving every day. What more do you need to hear? <laughs> Fair enough. I'll take you on, then. Just don't crap out in the middle of the track, okay? Smug words, newbie. I take it you're ready to race, then. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Get ready, because the two-headed bomb is going to blow you off the track. Alright, let's do this, boys. Let's see if this two-headed bomb is just a big old dud. <laughs> Uh, that was fucking stupid. Then again, so is everything I say. <laughs> Alright, on split axle, we're going against them. Oh, that reminds me too, I unlocked a sub-story back at uh, Survive. Since I was able to find this uh, gambling den, you can only access if you have like five... Uh, courage? So I gotta, I gotta go speak to Aroha. Probably next episode I'll do that. All right, should just be a, yeah, it's three. Oh, and it's foggy. Get ready to eat dust. Move it. See ya. Move it.
Alright, got kinda close there. <sighs> nice, 300 rings to the bonus. That's what I'm talking about. You like that? Impossible. Our attacks did nothing. Well, I figured last time was nothing but beginner's luck. But it turns out you really got the skills. You're good. Better get back to practice then. Let's let's take it from the top. <laughs> I'm done calling you a rookie. From now on, we race as rivals. Sounds good. I won't lose next time either. Guess they were serious enough to ask for a revenge match. Looks like I can't be too lax about this. <laughs> that gives me all the data I need. I look forward to our race, Ichiban Kasuga. Rumble Crasher card. Oh, this is also how I unlock new cards. Nice. Story. This will be I and Matsuko. Hold it, Ichiban kun. Oh, hey there, Rocket Girls. What's up? I'll keep this short and sweet. We'd like a rematch with you. Hmm? A rematch, huh? Yeah, Matsuko-chan and I had to take a long, hard look at ourselves after you beat us in the Pegasus Cup. Up until this point in our career, we could barely see past our own egos. We thought we had it all together, and we acted all high and mighty because we thought we had the skills to back it up. Then we got the rug swept out from under us. So we decided to start over from scratch, and now we're back and stronger than ever. And we wanted you to be our first opponent, the first to challenge the Rocket Girls Reborn. Is that a no? <laughs> If you're that fired up, of course I'll take you on. That's what I like to hear. You ready to race right now? Okay. Alright, let's go. Show me what the new and improved Rocket Girls can do. That's what I'm talking about. Don't go disappointing us, Keiichiban-kun. Alright, what what course do they want to race on? What the fuck's the weather gonna be on the is it gonna be foggy again? Not the fog really fucked me over last time, but you know. I'd rather not race in fog again. <laughs> Alright, so what's this Oh, it costs money to unlock this one. God damn. Wow, that loses all acceleration, handling, gr and grip. Yeah, I, I think I'll just stick with Crimson Fire, honestly. Might want to get the cart they unlock for me, because that one will probably give me a bit more speed. Although, I'm guessing a lot less durability. Because these, these next carts seem like they're all, uh... All one thing and... Nothing. And then some other things, nothing at all. Oh, it's Explosion Boulevard. In, with the fog. Let's do this! 
Oh, this one's actually going to be really difficult, huh? Jesus Christ, I'm that far ahead of them? I'm guessing that's probably gonna change. that I'd be able to get past that. Alright, that was close. Jesus Christ. No way. I can't believe we lost to you again. We're supposed to be the Rocket Girls Reborn. Hey, don't feel too bad. You definitely got way faster. I can tell whatever practice you did paid off. <laughs> Today was just my day, I guess. You really got us again, Ichiban-kun. As frustrated as I am, I'm also pretty revved up. <laughs> Same. I like how you put that. Uh... Oh, well, we're not gonna sit on this loss forever. We'll beat you next time. But for now, I bid you adieu. We got some training ahead of us. Let's go, Matsuko-chan. Mata ne. Adios. Later. Okay, see you around. <laughs> That's right, everyone. Keep pushing each other's limits. For soon, the time will come. <laughs> Pretty ominous fighter. Rapid Phantoms now available.
Oh, he's. What are you just hiding around the corner for, dude? Hmm? Huh. Get the feeling someone's watching me. Hey. Interesting. Whenever he starts walking, it's always with his right foot. Huh? Whoa! Uh, hey, what's the big idea? Oh, it's just Suguru. What are you. What are you doing just now? Gathering data on you. What else? The only reason I lost you in the Phoenix. Phoenix Cup is because I didn't do enough research. Now, if you don't mind, please carry on with your business. No. Hell yeah, I mind. You're acting like some kind of stalker. Hmm, when you put it that way, I suppose I should withdraw. You've already given me what I needed. Hmm, I don't remember giving you a damn thing. Now, without further ado, allow me to challenge you once more. You want to go at it again? Knowing that I'll win, of course I do. Based on my calculations, defeating you should be a simple task. Unless, of course, you'd rather decline. <laughs> I won't back down, but let me tell you this. Racing's more than just putting shit together in your head. Guess I'll just have to teach you one more time. <laughs> Why, thank you. I look forward to the lesson. Or should I say, making an example out of you. Now, are you ready to start the race? Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Very good. Now wail and despair as each of my predictions come true. Now let's check out this uh, rapid phantom cart we got from I. I'm hoping it's not like paper thin durability. Although, ju judging from last race's performance, it probably is. Oh. Rapid Phantom. No weight. It's like half durability. Ring acceleration, grip, and acceleration are all good. Top speed is fucking nothing, though. Honestly, I think I'll just stick with my, uh, Crimson Fire card. It's gotten me this far. Alright, the. Oh, he, he, we're going up on the pain circuit for him. Alright, Suguru, let's see what you got. I'll take that little minimal bit of damage just so I don't lose speed in that part. That's the reason why nobody's so ahead of him on this track. Ooh. Yeah, we get that 
perfect drift into there. Suguru, what does that teach you? No, this can't be. Nothing about this race was reflect was reflected in my data. <laughs> Didn't I just tell didn't I just tell you? Mulling things over in your head isn't the same as having good reflexes, or knowing what to do on the spot. It's like how the forecast can say there's a thunderstorm, yet the whole day goes by without a drop of rain. You can't always rely on predictions. Oh! Sh shut up! I don't need you of all people to lecture me! <laughs> well, goddamn! We got ourselves a straight up demon on the track! Nicely done, Ichiban kun! Hmm? Hmm? Akira. Don't be like this dorky son of a bitch. Every time you talk about predicting shit, I want to slap you in the face. What kind of drift musketeer are you? Huh? Excuse me? How dare you insult my methods? A simpleton like you. You couldn't predict your way out of a paper bag. Oh yeah? Well, even with all that nerd talk, you still lost. Speaking of being a loser, I know for a fact you've never even kissed a girl, let alone had one in bed. Screw you! Tell me, is being an old man with blue balls also part of your data? Or are you happy making love to your hand because it's one of your predictions? I predict my foot up your ass, you arrogant little punk! <sighs> they really let me blow the belt here. Come on, you two, there's no need to go at each other's throats. Listen, suguru san I don't want to say this too loudly, but I too suffered many long days and hard nights without a lover. I remember thinking I'd die a virgin. But look at me now. I've got a loving wife, a beautiful son, and a job I adore. I'm sure all that and more is coming your way. Just be patient, never give up the fight. Fujisawa-san. Thank you. That was the most inspiring prediction I've ever heard. Man, he's really good at being a mediator. Look at Suguru-san. It's, like it's like his heart was really touched. And Akira-san, don't go bad-mouthing another man's love life. No one wants to hear you say those things. Besides, where's the dragon cart spirit in all this? <sighs> I know, you're right. I went overboard. Now Akira's all calm like a lion that's just been tamed. How's Fujisawa-san do it? Actually, I wasn't here to argue in the first place. I came here to see you. Yeah? <laughs> Unlike Suguru here, I don't give a steaming turd about data. I just cut loose and go wild, uh, letting my instincts take the wheel. I hope you'll make the next tournament fun. Akira does remain unchallenged in the Sky Highway course. Nobody's been able to take him down. Wow. Huh, no kidding. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe our rising star will give him a run for his money. Give your best, Kaskasan. You bet I will. Ignition Shadow is now available. That was the one Suguru was using. I wonder if that's a more advanced uh, version of what we have now, the balanced one. Let me just check some of the sub stories. 41 out of 50. We have 11 sub stories left. Oh no, that's the one with Sumire. That's Sumire's romance one. 
Uh, let's see. That's the one we have over at Survive. Then I think a lot of the... Let's see, the last... I think the last six of these are, uh... Romance quests. I think. So maybe that one's Akira. Then the last of the, uh... Drift Musketeers. Then that one should also be, uh... Dragon Cart related, too. Man, I th you know, I think this is the first time I'm actually going to finish every single sub-story in a Yakuza game. <laughs> I've never actually done it before. I'm more than happy to do this, though. Oh, there's Akira. Ah, so you didn't turn tail and run. Yeah. Of course not. Had to come make sure you weren't all talk. <laughs> Go ahead, keep inflating that ego. After I leave you crying at the finish line, your self-esteem will shrivel up like a raisin. Maybe your ball sack, too. It's never too late to turn back, you know. You still want to risk getting crushed? <laughs> you think I came here to lose? Try some humility, man. What's that? You want me to humiliate you? Oh, I plan on it. I guess we shall see who will humiliate who. Alright, so let's see. Advanced handling. Can't lock it. Oh, so I guess I get a passion for getting all the uh Acceleration and grip's a little better than, than Ignition Shadow, but everything else is completely unshadowed. So yeah, let's use Ignition Shadow. Rapid Phantom. I guess we'll unlock Rapid, uh, rapid Phantom after this one. If it'll let us. It seems like we unlock one cart for each of these uh, rival races. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. There's, there's the fog, of course. Get ready to eat dust. Of course, I went right through the middle.
I don't know what the fuck I was doing there. Oh good, I knocked him out with that. Fucking turn! You have to be fucking kidding me! <sighs> the last goddamn turn! Let's try and take these fucking turns better this time. That's what really fucked me over last time. I screwed up so many of the goddamn turns. Get ready to eat dust. Oh shit, there is actually a boost feature at the beginning of the race you can do. I wonder if there was, because I knew you could rev up the engine at the beginning.
What? Just ate all of my fucking boost. Oh, that was close. Much less of a gap than when I <laughs> lost to him. somehow. I feel like that battle shaved a few years off my lifespan. Sir. This is bullshit! How come I lost? I thought I'd dem demoralized this guy. <laughs> you were a big fish in a small pond, Akira. The moment something bigger swam along, you got eaten up immediately. Oh, the Yakuza. Hmm? Huh? Jin san. This is the first time we talk, rookie. I'll congratulate you this time. But don't think that I'm anything close to these other weaklings. The races you've been until now have merely been child's play. Yeah. What makes you say that? My resolve. Unlike these hobbyists, I ride in the name of my family, putting everything on the line. <laughs> Come back when you're ready to risk your life. Only then will I take you on. That's Jin, the Yakuza racer. He looks calm on the outside, but I, I could feel his fiery spirit leaping out at me. The guy's definitely on another level. That means I gotta dig deep, train hard, and get my machine in tip-top shape if I want to stand a chance against him. Alright, I think there is something I do want to get before I, uh... Go back into the race. I just want to spend my rings to get a. Uh... Feel like taking a spin? I want to get this rise up thing. Prove you overall as a person. See you later. That seems like it increases my stats. Ooh! Wow! Yeah, that that helps. Yeah, I must have style and passion at level 10 now. Yeah, let's move on. Right. You must be kasuka -san. I actually have a message for you from Jin, Anaki. From Jin? Yes. Sorry, but I can't go against you right now. Got involved in some fight. Do what you need to until I return. That's all of it. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hmm. Some 
fight, huh? That is his main gig, after all. Oh well, guess I'll do what I gotta do. How about a race? I'll be waiting. against the cure in his rival race unknown condition oh does that mean I'm stuck for now but I can't do anything until the story advances hold up let me just check and make sure that's the case Absolutely sure. I mean, I'm in chapter fourteen. Okay. So yes, that doesn't unlock until chapter fifteen. Okay. Good to know. Alright, so I'm all caught up on that. Then we have, yeah, two dragon cart sub-stories in the next one. And, wow, quite a few don't unlock until... Oh, all the romance quests don't unlock until, uh, 15 as well. Alright. All right, so uh, let me just do this last sub story over here at survive, and then we're all caught up on sub stories. All I have to do is just uh, keep improving my stats so I can do all the romance quests, and then uh, just level up so I'm ready for that uh, fight against Kiryu. Also, I need to get all that, all the money I can together so I can uh, fully invest in uh, Romance Workshop. But yeah, once I do that, I should have all the uh, Romance Quests ready to do for uh, Chapter 15. Ow. I'm just gonna slam my knee into like this. My fucking mic stand. <laughs> that kind of hurt a little bit. Alright, so let's talk to Iroha. We'll see what exactly is going on. Oh, and I think I'll also do a uh, Zhao's drink link. Guess what? I finally got more details on that rumor. Rumor? What rumor? You know, the one I mentioned earlier? Trust me, you're gonna want to hear this. Okay. <laughs> if it's juicy, let's hear it. So, I heard this from a customer, but apparently there's a small shipping company called Zhou Long Trading over on Eugene Street. And if you tell the guy working there a certain password, he'll let you into a top secret weapon shop. This shop's not legal, is it? Whispers of the Underworld. Doubt it. According to the rumors, he's pretty much cornered the black market. So, if you need anything dangerous and illegal, he's your go-to guy. Whoa. Sounds intense. I know, right? I bet he's got the coolest stuff. Hey, what do you think this guy looks like? Do you think he's one of those sexy anti-hero types? <sighs> if only I could meet a guy like that. You think he'd want to say hi to me? 
no, that's <laughs> probably not a good idea. Yeah. Something tells me he's more villain than anti-hero. Nah, if you say so. Anyway, you have any idea what his password might be? Oh, let me think. It was... Lao Chow Chow Ya. There we go. Love Choo Choo Ya? <laughs> Wrong. Lao Chow Chow Ya. I'm clueless as to what it means, if anything at all. Lao Chow Chow Ya. And I just say it to the dude who works there? Well, do keep in mind, this is all hearsay. But where there's smoke, there's fire. So some of it might be true. And besides, even if he does turn out to be a villain, you're strong enough to make it out alive. <laughs> Thanks, Aroha. I appreciate the vote of confidence. I guess it wouldn't hurt to check it out. Thanks for the tip. Now, if he really is my type, <laughs> oh my nice body, a little on the wild side, hook me up with a date. So I need to go to Egent Street and give the guy a Zhao Long distribution of password. Lao Chow Chow Ya. Who comes up with this shit? Yeah, let's do this first. Alright, so this is where? Oh! That guy. Okay. Yeah, I remember I couldn't I remembered I couldn't buy anything from that guy before. Alright, let's finally unlock him. Let's give this guy a password for access to a weapons shop. It could be risky. Hey, um... Hmm? Yes? What is it you want? Mm. What was that password again? Yeah, Lao Chow Chow Ya. Lao Chow Chow Ya. Where did you hear that from? Uh, I was referred here? Kinda? Very well. Then wait right here. Alright. Yeah, can I help you guys? Oh, we're gonna get beaten up. You can help us prove your worth to Chao-san by facing us in combat. No offense, but protocols are protocols. I knew this shit would happen. Now, let's see what you're made of. Oh, you guys are, uh... <laughs> you guys aren't that bad. Let's go! Take out one. Bring it on. Out of my way. Champagne, anyone? Let's I'm gonna take that guy out. Eyes on me. Hit the ass. <laughs> I'll show you a fight. Good fight. Here. Easy, I'm afraid. Skilled. Exceptional. You pass. Yeah. Eh? The one who runs this secret weapon shop? Meet me near Kinka Bridge, along the river's edge, and I will give you your answer. 
If if you say so, Johnny Youngbosh. Sorry we had to do that, sir. But we do have to screen our clients somehow. No, that makes sense. Yeah, I get it. I mean, this is the black market I'm dealing with, so I figured I might get the runaround. <laughs> I assure you, it's worth the effort. Guess I gotta head along the river toward Kinka Bridge phone to meet this arms dealer. Should be if I just go here. Short walk away. You got some weapons for me. You say that with such confidence. Tell me, what family are you from? Surely, you're not some civilian. I'm with Arakawa, the Arakawa family of the Tojo clan. It, well, I was. The Tojo clan. Interesting. Just like Kazuma and Kiryu. Oh? You got some buddies over there? Hardly. Those people I avoid. It's best they don't know my face. Okay. It, now listen, why'd your men attack me? I was just trying to give out a password. I was determining your level of trust. Those who cannot handle secrets spill them. A fatal move in our line of work. Which is to say, only a fool would arm a weak man. That is why we tested you. To determine the character behind your strength. So that's what that was. Yes. And you have proven your worth. Our doors are open to you from now on. You mean it? Only under the condition you tell no one. Like I said, this is a trust-based business. Do anything to blow our cover. I'll strike you down. Hey, you can relax. I know I look laid back, but I'm no snitch. No, and I'm Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. You are? Chao. Chao Kalong. Oh, shit. Well, Chao san Let's do some business. I, I'm guessing he's like either the son or some kind of descendant of Lao Kalong. You're here. What do you got? Super alloy bat. Sacred branch. Artisan's jite. Tough bag. Nine mount box cutter. Silver katana. It's really stuff I already have, or if not, I have better stuff already. Actually, that'd be better for... Eh, I don't really need it, though. Damn, this stuff gets up in the millions! A lamp stand. Modded model gun. Lightning bomb and kunai. Hmm. Alright. Appreciate the business. I'm guessing I could use that stuff for other things. I didn't clear the sub story, did it? Let's go back and. Do I have to buy something? You're here. Appreciate the business. Why doesn't that complete the sub story? Hold up.
Oh, I have to buy a weapon. They're here. Appreciate the business. Oh, okay. I guess that did it. Hey. Yo, Chow San. Miss me? You again. I had not expected you to return after surviving your brush with the underworld. You must be a confident man. Hmm? Eh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. You should know most people avoid me at all costs, whether it be Yakuza or those fully given to darkness. Perhaps my presence threatens them. Well, you do look like you're about to kill someone at any given moment, but that doesn't bother me. Your weapons are worth the risk. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. If you were to perish, that would be bad for business. I suggest you contact me if your life is ever in danger. I will come to your aid. Not for free, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's reassuring. Guess we got a good thing going, don't we, Chao San? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think that unlocks some. Yep, that's a summon. Chao Kalong. Alright, so the last thing we're going to do in this episode is just do Zhao's drink link so we can get him up to level 3. Probably level 4 by the next time we meet. And then that will be it for this episode. It's gonna it's quite a lengthy one, I realize. But you know, hey. At least we're getting everything we can done. Because yeah, really, once I do this, all that's left for me to do is just grind up a couple another million like another ten million yen for survive for uh for the romance workshop. Then um Yeah, just get some levels for Kiryu. Yo, Kasuga-kun. I've already got a good buzz going. Nice. Yeah, nice. Could use one of those myself. Mind if I join you? Sure. I was getting kind of bored drinking by myself. So, what are the Yokohama Lumon guys up to now? Any of them ever swing by your place? Nah, I don't see them too much. And the ones who sided with Mabuchi seem pretty hesitant to get anywhere near me. Sounds about right. I mean, they did stage a full-on mutiny and shit. Do you ever wonder why they sided with Mabuchi instead of you? Nah, really. But if I know those guys as well as I think, I'd say it was because Mabuchi was easy to understand. Easy to understand? How you figure? His goals were crystal clear. Everything from money and power. If rules had to be broken or blood had to be spilled, so be it. So, in Mabuchi's world, as long as you had balls and muscle, you could work your way to the top. Even if you stepped on your boys to get there. As long as you swore loyalty to Mabuchi. Damn, I could get messed up fast. And I thought I heard somewhere that Mabuchi was actually pretty smart. That true? Oh yeah. He spoke multiple languages, ran numbers better than a calculator, and most important of all, he was just fine with breaking kneecaps. He was born for the underworld. If he'd been Tojo, I bet he would have gone even farther than you. <laughs> uh, anybody be better by comparison. <laughs> Honestly, anybody would look like hot shit compared to me. I was known around town as Rock Bottom Ichiban for a while. I see. Well, I take back what I said. Hmm? Why's that? You got something Mabuchi doesn't. That's why me and so many others gravitate toward you. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> anyway, what I wanted to say was that the younger Mabuchi had some talent. Yeah. I even went as far as asking Mabuchi to be my right-hand man because of it. Huh? You mean you're the guy that gave him all that power? I... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I am. <laughs> Come on, man. That's not something to laugh about. Nah, you see, Mabuchi was just that special of a guy back then. He wasn't the type to just chill on the sidelines. Guy won me over, too. How exactly? 
When Mabuchi was younger, he just had this... I don't know, I guess you'd call it... Aspiration. He was going straight to the top. And he had the talent to get there, too. He had something I didn't. It's probably why I was so drawn to him. Just like you, Kasuga-kun. Now that I think about it, you two are pretty alike. I don't Come like on, that don't comparison. That. Not when Mabuchi became such a scumbag. How'd that happen, anyway? <laughs> uh, thinking about it now, I imagine it had something to do with him being promoted to officer. From that moment on, he would challenge me right out in the open. Didn't matter that we were roughly the same age and I outranked him. He probably didn't like that I was born into the top spots. Nor that I kept up the weak cooperation policy. Mabuchi was pretty goddamn assertive. As far as I know, I was nothing but a thorn in his side. Well, then, sounds like you should have known he'd betray you eventually. Nah, I probably would have trusted him no matter what he said. But I know my old man and his boys didn't think too highly of him. They said he'd betray us for sure, so it would be better to get rid of him sooner rather than later. They were pretty quick to try and make him disappear. Hmm. So what'd you do? I fought back. I probably mentioned this earlier, but... I think it's really dumb when people kill the guys in their own inner circles. And this was during a time when responsibility was starting to fall to me and Mabuchi instead of the old boys. Stomping out Mabuchi was like stomping out our future. So I stood up to them. Uh, the elders were pretty tough to persuade. That's the first and only time in my life I'd grovel like that. You huh. did all that for Mabuchi? Jeez. Why go through that for a guy who hates you? True, Mabuchi was a fucking weirdo, and at times an evil son of a bitch. He wasn't likable either. But he had a passion I didn't have. He had talents, and above everything else, I thought of him as my brother. You can see why I don't want him dead. You're right. Sorry, I was out of line. I'm getting used to you doing that. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> Good thing you get me. Why is that? Just talking like this is great. I see now you're a pretty passionate guy, Zhao. <laughs> oh, me? Yeah, stop fronting so much already. You're always pulling that shit. That's why I could never figure you the hell out. Now that we're a couple drinks in, I feel like I'm finally getting to know the real Zhao. You've got a lot of heart, and you care about your family. That goes a long way in my book. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing when you say it out loud like that. <laughs> Look at you, your face is all red. <laughs> What's up with that? Ah, I'm just drunk. Let's keep knocking him back, yeah? <laughs> sure. To Zhao Senpai for keeping it real. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right, that's level three for Zhao. Now use the bodyguard job. I'll be switching to bodyguard just to get in berserker spirit. That's essentially like a power charge. All right. So on that note, I'm gonna end off the episode here, and in the next one, uh, since we really do have nothing else to do, um, we'll just go and fight Kiryu when I'm ready. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.